So now you have your lights chose or you're thinking about your lights, next thing we're going to look at is your way of modifying the light. Now a modifier changes the size and the quality of the light. Um, there's loads of different modifiers out there, but what we're looking at is location lighting, something that's portable, light, easy to carry, quick to set up, quick to take down. So I've got a few options here, a few different ones we're going to talk about. One thing that I didn't talk about while I was talking about the lights that kind of crosses the gap in the modifier and the lights. Um, on the Pika you can have, if I open this up, a round head attachment which you can buy as an extra, which very similar to the round headed speed light. And both of these have built into them, if I just put that out of the way, um, magnets for a small portable modifying kit. Um, now I like these, they help you get creative, control the light, do what you want to do with the um, round head kits, be it the um, round head on the Pika or the round headed speed light. And these things just magnet straight on, off. You can stack them if there's multiple ones you want to do. If you're wanting to widen and diffuse the light somewhat, we have an extra screen to go in the front. Wanted to control it, we've got barn doors, so you can put the barn doors on top, control the spill. Okay. Pull those off. Diffusion dome, give the light the illusion of being larger. And coloured gels. Oh, and a bounce card. And a snoot. So it's a very versatile little kit, very compact, portable. Um, great for just adding those little bits in there, whether it be on location or even quite often people use speed lights and peakers for small tabletop studios, this sort of size. Um, so versatile light, great location, great outside and a great little modifier kit for the round head for the Pika or the round head, the Geo one speed light. Now then, bigger light, okay or bigger modifiers making your light softer i've got three very in my opinion very effective ones here we're going to start with the quickest and the easiest this is possibly the lightest quickest to set up um i used to go do a lot of my location portraits with the very same modifier it is basically a translucent or shoot through umbrella and now i can hide from you Okay, so you mount that onto the bracket. I shall do that in a second. Let me just move these two to the side so I can show you. So you mount that onto your bracket, which would be on the light stand with your light on it. So I'm going to grab one now. So straight onto the bracket. Now, advantages of this, it gives, as you can see from the shape that I'm showing you now, light mounted, I'm sorry I'm limited on space in here, okay, but it will give a nice spread of light. So the shape of that, the shape of that with the light in there means that the light isn't just coming forward, you get in the, the shape of that modifier. If you can fill it nicely with a good light source, you'll get it so that it'll light head to toe. Also being that it's a shoot through, you can bring it in quite close to your subject, which means that you're not having to use so much light, you can get that light closer. And I like when I'm doing portraits particularly, to get my modifiers, my large lights, as close as possible to the subject. So shoot through Broly, quite a good option. Downside, it's like a sail. He, he, when you're out, that umbrella catches the wind. I always say your light will do a good impression of Mary Poppins. Um, and that's why it's always a good idea to have something like this filled with sand, grit, whatever, gravel, nice heavy sandbag to go on your light stand. Downside to this, extra weight to carry. I do know people that use their water bottles, so they'll fill it with the water bottles because they take water with them anyway. Um, problem with that, for, in my opinion, is as you're drinking your water, your sandbag gets lighter. So. Always good idea, any location lighting, sandbag, especially if you use an umbrella, because as I said, the umbrella 
it acts a bit like a sail. Now next one, this is one that I've been using for quite a while since it came out actually and it was um, my first reason or first purchase ever from Pixar Pro. 90 centimeter easy open Octobox. Beautiful size for portraits. You can get full length shots out of it as well if you can get it just out of that camera frame. Um, gives lovely light, like a good soft box. It comes in a fantastic carry case. Straps on it, it's lightweight, it's not particularly heavy. Uh, very, very quick to set up. Now I'm gonna show you how quick it is to set up and then I'll, I will add pictures. I'm limited on space as I've already said. I'll add pictures afterwards to show you how it actually works. But it works very similar to an umbrella. Now I leave, I'll move up to the side so you can see me, I leave my diffusion panels in mine all the time, which they're in there now, because it just makes it that little bit quicker to set up, a little bit quicker to take down. And I do the same with a lot of my modifiers. Um, it just means that you'll fiddle around and find your area, make sure all your rods are in, and thing, push it down, it's open, Velcro the um, diffusers in, and you're ready to go. So I'm gonna stand up, I'll set this one up. So it literally comes out of the carry bag like so, let it drop out, my normal opening is around here, so I'll just spin it round. Reach inside. It's already, the advantage with this one is it's already on the shaft. You don't have to line it up. All you've got to do, push down, touch that bit of Velcro, touch the Velcro there. And you have a nice size 90 centimeter Octobox. Now, I'm gonna do what I never do and open it up inside so you can see it. So, if I pull these down, so you've got an outer diffuser, an inner diffuser, and you can possibly see the rod there, and it literally goes up just like an umbrella and down like an umbrella. So you can see the rods in there. It looks very much like the Broly setup. A lot sturdier, nice and solid. And this is a Bowens mount as well. So if I turn this over, and you can see this up here is your S-type mount or your Bowens mount. I'm going to grab a bracket, he says. So, another smart bracket, Bowens mount like you would have in a studio, and it's on. So, Fit it straight away, obviously this straight onto your light stand, which we'll talk about shortly, and you've got portrait setup, location lighting setup, very quick, very easy, and it all packs away just as easy. Take the bracket off. Push down a little bit of pressure, push the lever in, and she closes up, ready to go straight back in your bag. Okay, so I'll move that one to one side. Now that has been my go-to modifier, probably the one that I use the most. I use it on a very regular basis. I use it indoors and outdoors on location. As I've said, it's lightweight, it's easy to carry. One of my other favorites, possibly more favorite than that, um, I've got lots of favorites, is this one here. As you can see, slightly smaller case. This is a 65 centimeter easy open rice bowl. Uh, very versatile modifier, very useful, opens very much in the same way. So I'm going to open this up and show you very slight difference to it and I'll explain that once it's up. So, as you can see, nice and compact. Again, I keep my diffusers in there. I'm going to take these two out because I'll show you those in a second. You can as well for the 90 centimeter and for this one, you can buy an optional grid um, just to give you more uses of the light, more control, and focus that light a little bit better. So, 65 centimeter easy open rice bowl. Get to the side so you can see me again. Has a little Velcro strap around the outside. Undo the Velcro strap. My advice to you, make sure it's always fastened nice and tight and it'll stay together good at the back there. Let it open out a bit, so that the Velcro sometimes sticks. But again, I leave my two diffusion panels in personally. This one takes a little bit more, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I pull the diffusion panels out of the way, and then push down, line it up, push the lever in at the side, 
and push down till it clicks. Then all I need to do, slightly fiddlier, but not a lot. Doesn't help that I haven't got my glasses on, but I'll push the inner diffuser through and fasten it and then fasten the outer diffuser. Very, very similar to the 90 centimeter. Easy open, opens in a very similar way. Um, you know, I'll show you the inside in a moment. Difference with this I find is it's a little bit more efficient with the light. So th this shape that you see here, as opposed to the 90 which comes out, or the octa that comes out, slightly more efficient so it focuses that light a little bit better so you get a tiny little bit more bang for your buck if you like out of the uh, modifier. Um, it's also a little bit smaller, more lightweight, but it's also a little more versatile. So as it is, double diffused, it's very much like the softbox. Outer diffuser, inner diffuser. Now I am going to remove these, which I'm going to curse about later. Because I want to show you the inside. So I'm just going to put that down there. I'm going to have some tidying to do in my front room today. So you can see the inside and the shape and how efficiently this would push the light forward. My other thing that I like about this and why it's probably beating the 90 in my favoritism is you've got this little added bit here. So very similar to a beauty dish. Put this in the center. Put the screw in. Helps if you've got your glasses on. And it makes it like a very big silver beauty dish kind of effect only with a little bit more focus for the light so you'll get a more contrasty light from this okay so with the two diffusers nice soft light like a soft box with this silver just a little bit harsher a little bit more contrasty sharper shadows so you've got two very different lights or not very different but two different lights in the one modifier or two different modifiers in the one modifier that makes it probably a little bit more of a favourite for out on the locations doing the shoots. And again, Bowen's mount at the back. So you take your light, just going to go get it. Same as before, line it up, same bracket, haven't switched it out of shot, and your light's attached, ready to go onto a light stand. So there you have three very versatile, very portable location lighting solutions. They'll also work in the studio as well, if you like. Um, as I've said, probably my preferred two to 90 centimeter and the rice bowl, 65 centimeter easy open. Quick to set up, almost as quick as the Broly. A little bit heavier, but nice carry case and very effective and versatile lighting modifiers.